Hi, my name is Andres Morales, I'm 25 years old, I live in Monterrey, Mexico, and I have been working almost two years now in Gruma's Research and Development Department. Gruma is one of the biggest producers, if not the biggest producer, of corn flour around the world. So since we're in the food industry, which is why I keep working, I keep going to work every day. And sadly, I cannot do home office because since it's, I work at the research and development lab, well, I have to work at a lab. And some people might say, well, you need to get out new products during the pandemic. And it's not really that. We give a lot of technical support to the plants where a lot, a lot of the food is being produced. So we have to keep working. Sadly, well, this has affected my load of work because at the company, everyone who a pre-existing condition that can make you more vulnerable to coronavirus has been sent home. Most of them are doing home office, but there is a limit to what they can do since they don't have all the lab equipment that they need to run some tests. And also, there's no interns at the moment by orders of human resources to keep them safe. So my workload has been multiplied by three, I would say. It's, it's been really rough honest but I sort of like working under pressure so it's not that bad. The coronavirus is starting really affecting the, my region, my country because we officially entered phase three so every day there are a lot more new cases of coronavirus. Just this Wednesday we had 35 new cases, on Thursday we had 135 on Friday, we had 560, I think, and this was only in my state. So it didn't really worry me. I haven't been able to see my parents in almost two months when I usually go to their house every weekend outside the city. But in the end, I talk with them every day they'll get a laugh out of me every day. I know they're safe where they are. They know I'm safe where I am. And, well, even though I live alone right now in my apartment, and sometimes I feel down and isolated, just like those phone conversations, those video chats I have with friends from all over the world, that just keeps me up every day and gives me hope. I think the coronavirus will teach us many things. And the most important one is, well, to respond to a pandemic so this won't happen again. It's not a mistake not to be prepared as long as you're prepared next time, right? Oh, thank you. Have a good day.